One of my favorite things to do when I was younger is go camping. I love camping. My mom would take us. There's so many good places in upstate New York. We used to go to the Adirondacks and have the best time ever because I'm an earth sign. I like being one with nature and the earth despite what you might think about me. I genuinely enjoy being outside and staring at nothing but the sky and thinking myself to death. You know what I'm saying? Overanalyzing every decision I've ever made in my life. It's one of my favorite things to do. But ever since we got Bunny, I think it might be pretty difficult given the current circumstances to actually go camping. But it's summertime and I wanna go camping now. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go camping in the backyard. What do you think? Because then it combines all of my favorite things, right? We get to be in a tent, we get to be outside, but we also get to use the bathroom, have four dogs. Can you even bring four dogs to a campsite? I don't know. There's probably some middle-aged woman out there driving her RV across the country with four dogs who's living my dream life. I'm sure she exists. You can't see me. I'm ready to camp, but we can also come inside, use the bathroom, get food. My plan is to set up a tent and just like live normal life make s'mores, and then just go sleep in it. Camping. Hell yeah. I, I think you might get demonetized. You're not wearing any clothes. This is the first time in my adult life that I didn't have a tent. I usually always had a tent and I would always drive around with it in the back of my car in case anything happened to my car because my car was really shitty. So if it ever broke down, I was like, I'll just pitch a tent on the side of the road and then someone will come get me. It's, it's a great plan. This was the first time I didn't have a tent because all my other tents got ripped from me setting them up so many times and breaking them down so many times because it's my favorite thing to do. So I bought a tent, but I feel like they come in one of two sizes. Either like there's a couple people camping here like a one to two person size tent, or like our whole family's here. And the weird kids that hang out with my kids, my kid won't stop bringing his friend around, so we gotta, you know, accommodate him, and he's hungry and needs his own space. You know, like one of those tents. So I went and got us a nine person tent. We're running out of daylight, Julian, we gotta get this thing going, are you excited? We're gonna make s'mores, and then we're gonna watch Netflix in the tent. We're gonna watch specifically. Nicolas Cage movies. <laughs> what do you guys think? You wanna go camping? Are you so excited? Why do you stink? Why do you stink? What What have you been doing? Does he stink? Yeah, smell him like right in this. Oh. I just wanna go camping, but like not really. It's like Ryan Higgins. <laughs> Cooking, but not really. It's camping, but not really. Who's ready for family fun? Damn, that thing is heavy, huh? Oh, shit. I have no idea like what the footprint size of this is, but we'll find out, right? Yep. You know, sometimes when I buy things online, I don't read, you know, I just look and I'm like, that seems well right. So one thing that's very helpful is that when you unpack your tent, you remember how it was packed loosely because then when you try and roll it up into that Tootsie Roll shape, you can get it back in its bag and fit it in your car. That's why I'm unpacking it and not letting Julian do it. Oh, this is the tarp. Rain tarp. I don't think it's gonna rain, but you never know. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's in there. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Wait, is this like a pop-up tent? It says instant cabin, but I figured that that was like a lie. But this looks like, like there's no poles. See, I told you I didn't read it. Oh, it is. <gasps> yes, thank you, past self. This is an amazing find. It's an instant tent. What? I'm a genius. I invented the instant tent. You invented it? Yes. Oh my god, this thing is so big. Yeah, I know. We're turning the tent. This is the front. I like the hammer part. We gotta pop this side up. Too. All these sides up? Yeah, I've never used a tent that just popped up. It's always been poles. Yeah, I know, same. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and then you extend it with this button, right? Whoa! Holy crap, this tent! It's amazing! I'm already sweating. That is officially the fastest I've ever set up a tent. What is this? What is it doing? Oh, is that for electronics? So oh, we're glamping. Extension cord through there. All right, now all we have to do, I guess, is move in. Wow, I allotted a lot more time for setting up the tent because I've only ever used poles. Air intake. Yeah, you can, it looks like you can like stick this down so then more wind comes in. And is there a screen behind you? Yeah. Oh, wow. <gasps> Kitty, are you excited? There's already a bee in here. No. Yeah, poor me, look out. You have very bad reactions to these things. Kermit, 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 Kermit. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's out, he's out. 
campfire. We're shutting the doors. No bees. We be like. We're going camping. And be be like. Me too. This is a very large tent, but unless happy nine people or small children, I feel like this is a very intimate setting for nine people. Nine? We have power. Real nice. We decided to turn it this way so then maybe Bunny could have some more room. Hermit, come. You're being a feral, feral boy right now. I think this will be good though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then we can have enough room for Bunny's crate and a bed if she wants to hang out with us. Yeah. And we can watch Netflix. Yes. A Nicolas Cage movie. Yes, correct. Hell yeah. Come look out. Oh. I think that's good. Yeah. We're going to try to get Bunny in here. She might not like it at first. Yes, look at it. Hi. Good job. Yes. You're camping. Look at your bed. Look at this. This is not bad, huh? Are you camping? Yeah, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's fun, honey. Yeah, it's like what you like. It's outside, but also inside. Where's she going? Good girl. You want to go in there? What's your crate? So Jenna got a fan installed that has a light on it. So tonight when we need to have a little airflow and some light, we have that. And it's battery powered. Hell yeah, bitch, you know. Oh, you want to see the bed? I'm hoping you want to lay on our bed. Can I help you? Are you excited Can to camp? Like Can you not be a sweater? You're making me hot. Bunny says yes, I'll take this bed. Make sure you check it all out. Come it. Get out. Girl, why do you have to sit in the middle of everything always? Is this fun, baby? Hi, baby. And then in the night, you protect us from skinwalkers. Mm -hmm. What if a bunny skinwalker shows up? <gasps> bunny has two beds in here. She deserves both of them. Thank you very much. If he does this all night, I swear to God. You know who hasn't seen it in here yet? Marble. Bobby. I think we should wait till Bunny is like chilling with this space and then we can have Bobby come in because Bobby does not like this energy. Welcome to the tent, sir. Welcome to the tent, Bobby. Welcome to the tent, sir. This, like it's very big. It feels big from inside too. So what's the plan? We go inside and eat dinner. Okay, <laughs> that we cooked in the house. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing all of the full camping experience because why would I? I'm at my house. <laughs> we're glamping. Eat dinner, feed the dogs dinner, make s'mores. Okay. We, we should do that once it gets a little darker. Okay. For fun. For fun. And then we'll come in here and hang out. You have so many flashlights, I'm excited. <laughs> it's not dark yet. Oh. This is actually so cool. Isn't it fun? Bunny girl! There she is! Oh, oh she's got oh, she's got the zoomies. Hi Bunny! Hi! Hi! Are you ready for s'mores? <laughs> he can have s'mores? Julian. He can have s'mores if he wants. <laughs> He's the eldest. It's chocolate, oh, Julian. Man. Okay, so just so we'll cut out the marshmallow and the graham cracker and just give him chocolate. No! Oh. oh, they love it in here. I also deeply appreciate that we laid down a mattress to be in here. <laughs> it's fun, huh? We can look at the not stars. Yeah, you can't see any stars here ever. We <laughs> use that app on our phone to look at all the constellations that we can't see. I know y'all cannot believe how neatly we stacked our firewood to build this fire, but we did it off camera. There's no firewood. This burning is real fire. <laughs> Are you gonna make some s'mores? Yeah! This is fine, right? Yeah, I'm not You gotta get your gram ready. Oh. oh. That's not it. Ah, give up. 
<laughs> okay, that one's fine. And you put the chocolate on it, so then when your marshmallow is hot and ready, I'll hold the stick and then you just go like that, you know what I mean? So you don't have to like make it all weird. We would cook them on sticks and then dip our sticks in the lake to clean them. One time my dad didn't brush my hair for 11 days, my mom was very mad. Oh, it's on fire. The marshmallow can be on fire, just not the stick. We haven't gone camping? Yeah, it's wilderness camping. All right, that's probably good. So then you go like this, you know? Then, yeah. then you don't get it all over you. You're so cute. The only thing that's not exciting is the amount of begging that's going on. Because it's chocolate. Yeah, I got some much worse graham crackers because they're gluten free. <laughs> I'll try them out. <gasps> Julian, please be careful. Julian. Julian. Sorry. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> mm. Good? Yes. <laughs> Wow. That was really good. Being in the wilderness and nature is so fun. I'm an outdoors guy. We just gotta make sure that we bring all this stuff in or else we're gonna attract bears. Oh no. <laughs> so I didn't say any bear traps. We're in the deep wilderness. <laughs> it's on fire. Wow, it's very much on fire. Oh no, what have I done? Kermit. Not your s'more. It took so us so long to get here. I can't wait to see the sights in the morning. I can't wait to go canoeing. Next week, should I just canoe in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> Do you just canoe forwards and backwards several times? The fire's going in my face. Yeah, I was just doing that to me. There's so much smoke. <laughs> We're gonna have to change clothes after we eat so we don't attract bears. <laughs> Hey, baby. This says it has honey in it. Julian went to the store and got these graham crackers earlier. Apparently way down here it says there's honey on it. So I'm a terrible vegan. I failed. I accidentally ate some honey. Should I just go eat a whole bee in the tent? <laughs> <laughs> we should clean this up or else we're gonna attract bears. Okay. Are we camping? She's the most comfortable outside, so I think she's like, oh, this feels better than inside. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are very happy. Very happy. Are you so happy, Mumble? Oh my goodness. Are you so happy, Mumble? Mumble, wake up. Kermit, he's being a monster. Ow. Kermit, he just wants to be near my feet so he can lick him. Ew. Kermit buys feet pics online. <laughs> Kermit subscribes to Patreons of girls who sell their feet pics. <laughs> Once upon a time there was a dog named Marbles and he was a super dog. Because oh. at night when his parents went to sleep, he would put on his cape and he would fly around the house. <laughs> it was like he was on PCP. <laughs> <laughs> you just told a story about a dog doing PCP, Julie. Yes, I did. And he lived happily ever after in his own mind. Everything else that was going on wasn't happily ever after. It was good, but it wasn't great. I mean, it's life. Life is okay. <laughs> so there was a stand-up comedian, and he was really nervous about his show on Friday because he was going to debut some new material. So he finally gets on stage. It's Friday. He finally gets on stage, and he says, How about airplane food? <laughs> And the rest of the kindergarten class says, Yay! He's a kindergartner. He killed. The material killed. <laughs> this is why they're so easy. Like, whenever we travel, they're so easy. Yeah. Because if they can just sleep in the middle of where we're sleeping, then yeah. they're totally happy. Do you I'm gonna get my nasty boy. Oh, God. He looks like he's high off of licking your foot. Do you think he's gonna growl at me? I decided that I only really like really, really good movies or really, really bad movies. No in between. It has to be one or the other. Lucky for me, Nicolas Cage only stars in one or the other. Cool. Next. 
That looks good. Should I read the synopsis? Yeah, read the synopsis of Next. This came out in 2007. It's called Next. Here's the premise. Las Vegas magician Chris can see a few minutes into the future and an FBI agent wants his help thwarting a nuclear attack. Oh my god. Are you ready? I'm ready, baby. Oh, oh. it's loading. I love camping. See you guys in the morning unless something weird happens tonight. In which case, we'll see you later, but probably not. Okay, we're gonna watch some Nick Cage and this wilderness camping. Alright, see, see you in the morning. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. Morning. We're able to sleep in here for. A little while before the sun is absolutely making it impossible. We have to go upstairs. It is getting boiling hot. That's so hot. Just woke us up. So, how'd you guys do? Look at them. Good morning. Good morning, honey. You guys have fun? I had fun. It was really fun. This was really just a good time. Probably gonna need a nap later. I stayed up pretty late watching Nicolas Cage movies. <laughs> they were so good and so bad all at the same time. Julie, did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. So after we woke up in our boiling hot tent, immediately came inside and went back to bed upstairs in our bed. I think our camping trip was lovely. I'm really, really happy that we did it. It was really nice once it was like cool enough in there to enjoy it, so like at nighttime. And watching a movie in a tent is just a 10 out of 10 experience. And that movie was just amazing, loved it. I'm so proud of Bunny, like being in her crate. She really makes me feel like at some point, if we ever did go camping, it's something we could do. As long as she has her spot and feels safe in her crate, like we're good. And I was really, really, really happy with how well all the dogs did. I'm really proud of you. I mean, we know that you guys are usually pretty good when we do stuff like that, but I'm really proud of Bunny. It was just really fun, but now we're dealing with the fact that we just went camping in our backyard and moved a bunch of stuff in there, and nobody in this house wants to fucking clean it up. <laughs> if I were to guess, I'd say that the tent's probably gonna stay up for another day before we actually break the whole thing down, but I had a really good time. I'm like super pleased with this tent, and I know it might seem excessive to a lot of you, but for all of us it was a great size and a great investment i would say because now i'm gonna roll this up and keep it in my car just in case we ever need a pop-up cabin for all of us it's like too hot to even think about taking all this stuff out did, did you have you, fun though yeah are you happy we did it yeah i'm so happy yeah it was really fun huh that's it that's all i wanted to do i just wanted to go camping sometimes you have to bring the camping to you because you have four dogs we basically have a dog kennel that we took into a tent. Are you, do you ever do it again with me? No. Of course, yes. Just not in that temperature. Yeah, next time we'll do it when it's cold so we can sleep in the sleeping bag and we can kick each other's feet. All right, Peach, go in here. You're, this is your home now. Oh. <laughs> Lock her in. Lock her in. Peach. Come, you wanna go in? One goes in, one comes out. Yes. Wow, <laughs> such smart creatures. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. I hope you had a good time. I actually did, I had a really, really good time. This is all I wanted to do like all summer. This is my fun vacation in my backyard. And then I got too hot, so I left. Goodbye. <laughs>